It has been a busy, long weekend at Jacksonville Beach. Look at the crowds, tens of thousands of people hitting the sand for the unofficial start of summer. This is a live look from our sky camera next to the pier. People out there soaking up the sun before it goes down on this Memorial Day. It's not as busy now that it's almost dinner time. Earlier, though, boy, the beach was packed. Take a look at this. While conditions might be beautiful today, lifeguards do warn that they are still very dangerous. This is crews continue to search for 19-year-old Curtis Newkirk Jr., who disappeared in the ocean south of the Jacksonville Beach Pier yesterday evening. First responders from Duval and St. John's counties are looking for him. As News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci shows us, it's a tragic reminder to be careful. Just take a look at all of these crowds, thousands of beachgoers as far as the eye can see. It has absolutely been a beautiful day out here. That's testament to this weather. And if you look at the ocean, you'll see it's really nice. It appears to be calm, but lifeguards say don't be fooled because there are still hidden dangers out there. And unfortunately, we saw that over the weekend when a young man went out swimming with his family members and didn't come back. One call after another. Do you need assistance service? Sometimes multiple emergencies at the same time. Two flag drops here in South South. Lifeguards in Jacksonville Beach were busy today. We come out just to enjoy, just to enjoy all of the breeze and everything. It's really nice. Protecting the masses, crowds you can see from the view of our Sky 4 drone. I'm just out here to enjoy it myself, put my feet in the water, and that's about it. Put safety first. We want everyone to have fun, but we want safety to be first. The mayor says you'll notice extra guards on duty. The city and volunteers ended a years-long impasse. Now, today's the first day both entities are working together again beefing up the staff. They are um, working in tandem again uh, to add uh, additional guards into our busiest areas that are right up here uh, in downtown Jacksonville Beach. But what's supposed to be a fun time at the beach appears to have ended in tragedy. Lifeguards believe 19-year-old Curtis Newkirk Jr. drowned after going into the water with a group yesterday evening. Guards say they arrived within minutes of the 911 call but found no sign of him. His family members tell us he was very loved, and they're devastated. They hope he's found. Rescuers up and down the beach say they've used drones, aircraft, and boats to search for him. Ocean Rescue has this advice. Swim within your limits. If in doubt, stay out. Swim with a buddy and only swim near lifeguards and when they're on duty. Seven-year-old Matias Mata, who's visiting from South Carolina, knows how important that is. How do you stay safe? Uh, for the lifeguards, if if you go deep, deep, no, no one's going to save you because the lifeguards don't know if you're there. So you always swim by these lifeguards? Yes. I just swim over there with my family. And for more safety advice from lifeguards, including how to get out of a rip current, go to our website, news4jacks.com. In Jacksonville Beach, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.